My name's Fred McCarthy and I have the honor and privilege of being the superintendent of schools in the South Whidbey School District. This brief video is an attempt to tell you about some upcoming issues we will be asking voters to consider that have to do with maintenance and operations, technology, and bus replacements in the South Whidbey School District. Dan Pullman, Director of Business Operations for the South Whidbey School District, and High School Principal Rob Prosh help explain the significance of the three levies. Voters should note that the maintenance and operations levy makes up 20% of the overall budget for South Whidbey schools. Without it, we would be forced to cut both programs and teachers. You know, I think the, the Board of Directors has done a really good job. I think what they've come up with is what we need to get us up to speed so that we can provide the education that's important for our children. When we start talking about the maintenance part of it, we have some issues. We have buildings that are, you know, 50, 60, 70 years old. One of the things we want to look at with this levy is the high school and the heating and cooling system. Well, our HVAC units are, um, some of them are original to the building and they have a hard time communicating with each other. Uh, we have some rooms that will be very, very cold um, and students that have to wear coats and, and teachers who are wearing coats and, and in essence being in a refrigerator um, while other teachers are sitting in a sauna. Another one of the issues that we do have at the middle school is drainage. When it rains hard, we have several areas that the water has a tendency to come in under the doors. I think we've established new leaks all over the building. Literally, the, the roof leaks down onto the tables that uh, students eat at, down onto the students themselves as they're sitting there eating lunch. The worst leak would be at the bottom of our blue stairs, where the waterfall exists whenever it rains. Um, we've had to rip that portion of the wall out because of possible mold. Um, it forms a lake at the bottom of, the, of that stairwell. The next levy is the technology levy. In order to give our students the best opportunities, the district must update its technology. Currently, each school has one trial smart classroom, and it's had a significant impact on the ability of kids to learn and teachers to teach. Um, the technology is wide and varied throughout our building. Much of our technology is older, cannot run the newer software, and so students have issues with compatibility from their home computers. We've had one teacher uh, go so far as to even purchase flash drives for her students so that they, um, they can have something to transport their work back and forth on. We've really found that you know a sound system for the teachers in the classroom has been a big benefit because they're able to have a discussion with their students like we're having here today without losing their voice by two o'clock in the afternoon. The children in the back can hear as well as the children in the front. We're looking at things like whiteboards, which are interactive, which allows the students to go up and touch things on the board and have it change. So it's just another way of getting them more involved in the process. The second part of it is software. One of the programs I, I really like is used at the high school where the teacher can ask a question and every student in the room could respond through a computer, through the software, and the teacher has immediate feedback of who understands, who doesn't understand, and it gives that shy person in the back the opportunity to have some input without having to raise their hand. Passing the technology levy at $700,000 per year for two years means more smart classrooms, updating antiquated computer labs, and purchasing new software so that the work students bring from home can actually be read by the computers at school. The last of the three levies is the transportation levy. This levy asks for $200,000 for two years. This works out to be about two cents per thousand dollars of assessed home value. The state requires that older buses be replaced and four of the district's buses are nearing the replacement mileage mark and will need to be pulled out of service. The state reimburses districts that update their fleet, so it's important that we replace our buses. Our fleet is getting quite old. We put over 250,000 miles a year on our buses. Um, 227,000 of those miles are just taking kids to and from school. So we have currently 24 buses, but most of those are older. 38% of them have over 200,000 miles on them. As a school district, we're working really hard to make this a world-class community for our kids. We want them to be able to compete in this coming century, and unless we can provide them with upgraded, updated technology that they can learn to do these different functions with, I feel like they're falling behind. And 
I, I think that by passing these levies that we can really work towards that model of creating world-class schools for a world-class community. The date of the levy election will be February 19th. It's a mail-in ballot and so people will receive their ballots ahead of time and we encourage them to send them in as soon as possible and we hope that they feel moved to give us a vote of confidence in this levy election. Help us provide our kids with a world-class education. As Superintendent McCarthy said, we're asking you to give South Whidbey School District a vote of confidence on February 19th.